Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. All right, let's see what we got for you right now. Hey, we got one of these rally car type. Was well, not a rally car. It was used in a lot of rallies. They're very sporty. This is a 143 scale, 1987 Mitsubishi Galant VR dash four. Now, when it's a VR dash four, you know that's the rally. That's the four wheel drive. That was the more powerful one, if I'm not mistaken. You know, the one that they were used in, like, a, you know, for the youngsters a lot more. Now. The VR4 started coming out in the 6th generation uh, Mitsubishi Galant, which is the model that you have right in front of you right now. They also came out in, in the 7th generation and also on the 8th generation. Unfortunately, they don't make Mitsubishi Galants no more. It's out of the Mitsubishi lineup for quite a few years already. Uh, they were not so popular at the end so much, unfortunately, because I don't know why the Mitsubishis are very reliable. I know people that had them. I know people that have nothing bad to say about Mitsubishi. But somehow, they start losing their track in the 90s, I would say, late 90s. And then in the 2000s, they kind of start losing even more and more. To the point that they were about to leave some countries. But they picked up again and they stick around. But going back to this die cast. This is made by Ixo. Ixo is one of the main brands nowadays. They make everything. They pull off. Ixo also takes care of a lot of these sub models. Like groups of from countries. They make them. They don't put their name tag in it, but they make them. This is actually a really cute model. They're very well made. Look how detailed it is. You can even see the rear defroster stripes. You got the spoiler. You got the double pipe muffler there. You got the details that says the, the 16 valve. Even the same wheel cover or alloy wheel they had for this car is the same one they had in the real life. And this color right here is specific, is lovely. You know why? Because it's a contrast with the color of the tail lights, so you could see more of the details. Sometimes on the darker color cars that cast, it's a bit harder to notice the details on them because it kind of doesn't contrast, it kind of blends together. So sometimes you're trying to be like, you have to give it a harder look at to see the details on it. But this is a beautiful die cast. I gotta say it, very well made job. Um, Ixo, congratulations. I'm not being sponsored by no brands, by the way, guys. When I speak, I speak what I think, what I like at the moment, what I see from the quality that I, that I see as I'm doing the review. But I don't get sponsored for this. So nobody's paying me to say something good about the brand. I'm just speaking my mind. This is a Japanese model. As you see right there. You can see the steering wheel on the right hand side. Very typical from Japan. They still use it on the right hand side as, as we speak right now. Uh, some countries around the world. Obviously England. I think India also still has it in the right hand side, Pakistan. I'm not sure about Australia. I would have to do a little bit more, more research on that. But going back to this die cast, you can even see it has a side skirts. Like the side skirts basically is when it makes the car look more sporty. See right there, the side skirt in the front also. Very, very attractive die cast. Very well made. I like that sticker because that's the four-wheel drive. And that was very typical back in the 80s and 90s. They put these big stickers for the four-wheel drive. So people knew they had like the big, uh, sturdy, more tough on the road kind of car. <laughs> but they had the more expensive transmissions because... These transmissions, if they damage, 
they're a lot more money to fix because they have that special four-wheel drive trans transmission. All right, guys, so I'm going to go around a few times so you can have a nice look at it and enjoy it. All right, guys, so I'm back. So what do you guys think about this Japanese rally type of car from the 80s and early 90s? Are you enjoying this video? Isn't it real cute? I like this diecast. You know, I, I didn't see Mitsubishi Galants a lot in diecast. They're not as popular as other brands on when it comes to diecast. You kind of have to look a little more. Some other models are not even made around. You still find the Lancer around, but the Galant itself, it's not very popular in diecast, especially the older models. I mean, the newer models from like the 80s and 90s. They have, I think, like the, like it's two sports car, two door sports car from like the 70s that came out. But this one specifically, I just found it a f probably a few months ago. And I was like, ooh, you got to be in my collection. You're, what have you been waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So, you know, as I usually say, hopefully you're enjoying this video as much as I enjoy making them. Please do not forget to subscribe. Click the bell next to the subscribe button. That bell will remind you when I'm posting more videos. Hello, is, the, is doing his homework, is doing your homework. <laughs> what else can you ask for? <laughs> All right. And also, show some love. Hopefully you subscribe. And you know what? Before I go real quick, look at this. This is actually the very first time that I'm noticing on a four-door sedan with a true trunk because this one has a trunk it doesn't open like a like a five door hatchback with a rear wiper with a rear wiper i just noticed that people look at this it must have been because it's a more like a rally type you know it pulls out a lot of rallies used to use this model back in the 80s i remember seeing pictures i guess to clean the dirt and but that is truly, I wish every car had that. Because I'm surprised why, because their sedans do not have a rear wiper. They should. They should, because sometimes it gets foggy. And sometimes the, uh, the water is still in the back windshield. But when you're driving a hatchback, you got that option with the wiper. But if you're driving a, a, a sedan, a four-door sedan, you don't have that option. And I think it should be part of the choices for everyone. It will make it a lot, a lot more easy to drive, especially in those rainy nights. All right, guys. So take care of yourselves. And good, goodbye.